There's a number of ways that one can very easily obtain gold. Rihanna held to work, 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 work. <laughs> but Adele had an even easier idea. One word, hello. And that got her gold in a couple of days. I'm no singer by any measurement. I am a geologist. And my method is to use wheat and to put it into certain types of soils. Yes what you heard this morning as wheat beaks. And after some time, I could very literally harvest gold. But how? All aboard! Let me in. No, you let me in. I was here first. Ladies and gentlemen, Xylem Express will leave in 30 seconds. This might sound to you like a crazy day at the station, but what it actually is, is what happens on the roots of wheat plants that are placed on soils with gold. You see, small particles of gold enter the root system, but once they get there, they have to be transported to a final location. And when they, the only form of transport is xylem, turbulent structures that, like a train, are responsible for moving water and minerals from the root to the shoots of the plant. Now, in most plants, xylem can only transport water and minerals, but in the wheat plant, there's a special cabin entirely for the tiny gold particles. And along the train journey, certain stops are made in hotels, and these are called parenchyma cells. Here, small groups of gold exit the train, and they check themselves into reception. They are given rooms specially for them, in the cell vacuum. Now there, they can't bother anybody. They spend the day watching Netflix while the train goes back to the station to pick up some other particles and transport them to other hotels, creating space for more particles to move from the soil and into the root system. Now this cycle repeats itself over and over again, and it is known as the translocative capability of plants. It is what helps us to be able to tell which species would be most effective when doing phyto-mining. Phyto-mining would be the mining of metals using plants, and it represents a sunrise in the lives of many people. Very many people are disadvantaged, and these technologies such as phyto-mining could place all of us walking in fields of gold.